What's going on guys, it's me Dave here back for another shave and today I'm going to use one of my favorite brands in the industry. Um, not only because Peter is one of my closest friends in the industry, but I love the soap. We're going to go ahead and use Ariana and Evans Asian Plum. One of his, one of his best selling or his best selling uh, soap to up to this point. Um, fantastic scent. To me it, it smells slightly floral, some sweetness. I don't know the scent breakdown from it. It's popular, so a lot of you guys have. It's been around already for quite a while, so a lot of people have it. So it's not exactly like I'm breaking out something new. Um, because with this soap, even though I haven't done a, a video with this soap, I am... Okay, so let me rewind that back a little bit. So, I've used a lot of Ariana and Evan soap. This is still the goat's milk base. Um, I haven't used this scent on camera as of yet. But since I'm so familiar with this formula, I felt comfortable using this second product that I'm about to show you without worrying about this going to mess up performance or what. If it affects the performance of this soap, I'm going to know it. So without further ado, I got the Chill Mill from Phoenix Shaving. This is to add some menthol into any shave soap that you want to use on. Um, pretty much shake it up, do a couple twists on top of the soap, mm. wait 15 seconds and then load the brush on the puck. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. So with Peter's soap, I like to bloom it, whether you like it or not, so fucking what. Um, so it says do two turns, probably do three. When I have menthol, I like using menthol, but let's see, so. One, two, three. Don't feel like much cut on there though. Oh, there we go. I think we got a good amount now. Because I had it standing up like this for so long, I think it took a while for everything to start working down into the grinder. So I did like four right there. Still didn't look like a whole lot got on there, but we're going to see. So we're well into our second week of this uh, self-isolation, social distancing, coronavirus, uh, whatnot. I'm ready to go back to work, man. But it doesn't look like this is going to happen. I think I'm already guaranteed to be off uh, up until early May. So it's a bummer. It, it is a real, real bummer. I'd much rather be at work than just hanging around the house. Uh, that's just, again, just my preference. I don't think there's a whole lot of us. Unless you're just some fucking bum that likes to stay around at the house all day. I, I don't. Um, I'd rather be at work. Or doing stuff that I enjoy like coaching. So, But alas, here I am. Rocio's hours have gotten cut. So she's already here. She's watching some weird ass show that I have no interest in watching. Um, so I decided to get my video in right now. Uh, probably about midday. As opposed to at, at night. What I usually do. And you know, let her go ahead and and do that so let's go ahead and load it up i think it's been more than uh 15 seconds when we went ahead and went with the declarations of brushworks um again declaration brushworks is very popular um i love this brush even though it's a real plain ass colored handle i have a tendency to like more color on my handles or at least have some style in terms of the color scheme. But um, what I really love about this brush, and this brush will probably always be in my collection, is this, this very first batch uh, batch one hair. So this stuff is from the very beginning of Declarations Brushwork. So a lot of people love their knots. They're super dense. They're super soft. They're fantastic. And it's just, I just think it's super cool that I have some of his first, first batch hair. Because it doesn't look like, that's going to slow down uh, anytime soon because it's extremely popular. These brushes, or at least this hair, is extremely popular. And I love the I love the handle shape. I love the handle size. It's just it's, it's a weird, just random ass color. It's, it's, the color is really not special. Hmm. So I do feel that. Hmm, I could be crazy, but I feel like it made it a little bit weirder in the loading. Usually I see a little bit thicker proto leather loading up, um, already on the puck. This seems like it's a little light on that. Interesting. 
starting to work up a good one now. So again, load heavy. I don't know if a, a heavy load will affect how much the menthol crystals come out. We'll see. Leave a little excess in here. Oh no, it's in there. Just rubbing the soap on my hands, I'm already picking it up. So that's interesting. I am using a straight razor today. So make sure that my hands stay pretty dry in between everything. Nice and thick, I am gonna have to introduce more water to this. I can feel the menthol in my nostrils right now. Real thick and pasty, so definitely gonna need to add quite a bit of water. I've been talking uh, talking about him more often lately, but you know, shout out to to the homie DK, them fine shaves. He just started straight razor shaving. He got a razor that was restored by Silverloaf. You know, I've gotten done uh, work done by Silverloaf. Just the blade was restored by Silverloaf, and then the scales were done by my buddy Alfonso over at Osiris Blade Works. I have a Osiris Blade Works a custom razor. So DK is just starting off with the straight razor shaving. So, you know, I'm happy for him. Again, straight razor shaving was my first big thing in wet shaving. I didn't start off with a double edge razor. I started off with, with straight razors. So they are definitely my, my wet shaving first love. And I'm still telling you, uh, it's still my opinion after all these years that once you get the the right technique and the pressure and all those little variables down with straight razor shaving, it is the most comfortable shave you'll have. Now, some people say that uh, your shape, your face stays smoother for longer with a straight razor. I don't necessarily feel that's true, but I think it's the gentlest. It is the best balance of ge uh, being gentle, comfortable, and real smooth as, as you can get. Just my opinion, you know. Your mileage may vary, everybody to teach on everybody. Now, um, this is the 6 to 8 Dovo Encina. Buttery smooth edge. The soap. One of the best in the business. And those menthol crystals, they're kicking. If it, if I would have just left it with those with those two little turns without the crystals really settling down there, it definitely would have uh, been a little too light for me. It wouldn't have been really worth even using. And now that the menthol crystals are down there, I think uh, probably two two turns will be fine. Are you getting mad at the dogs? Yes. Be nice to them. Find the chair of the ass. <laughs> and a fucking nerve. Whoa, such harsh language. And this is my lather preference right here. Had a couple guys commented saying that I should do a lathering uh, video. I'll try to figure out how I could do that. I may see, need some assistance with that because I don't have a, like a real holder. Uh, like right, right now my phone has a mouse case on it. It's called a MOUS. Uh, they have magnets in the case and I bought their magnetic uh, like car stand thing holder. Um, I don't know if it could get an angle down below. 
maybe I could hold it up here, but it's kind of stupid holding it up here. So I don't know. We'll see. DK, I do recommend that you use both hands, man. Reaching across your face up here and doing here, it just, I, I feel that it's a little bit more dangerous. You will have to be a little bit more cautious in the beginning, but I think it'll be worth it. I think it'll be worth learning to shave with your off hand, man. Also, that uh, that razor you have appears to be a full hollow grind. Like, this is a full hollow. Let's see if you get a good look at that. So that belly, I think it's called, or just the grind itself, it makes for a longer thin uh, razor at the finish. The most, the more closer to a wedge you are, the more filled in these portions will be. So this is a wedge. And then maybe the next uh, one I'll have uh, will be a custom razor that I have from Bruno Van Duren that is a quarter hollow. So you'll be able to tell the difference, but this one is a full hollow. See that? So let's go ahead and rather off the second pass. The menthol feels great. A lot of soap, so again, still got to add some more water. It's a ton of lather, it's kind of getting everywhere now. So, quick update on my family. Uh, everybody in the household still appears to be corona-free. Well, at least no types of uh, symptoms of that sort. Uh, my eldest uh, daughter, she has, um, seems like a cold. It lasted about uh, two days, and she's already pretty much on the back end of that. Just a cold. Um, so, that's good. Uh, my daughter, whose boyfriend uh, got tested positive for corona, uh, he's again pretty much he's close to being 100 uh probably 85 90 percent all better she up to this point i still have has not shown any kind of symptoms of it which you know thank god hopefully it stays that way Something that I forget to do is that little thumb, thumb scraping of the soap. Because what happens here when I'm coming against the grain, I have a tendency to get soap near the pins of my razors. And I notice that I'm starting to develop some rust in there, which is not good. So if you do have a little extra buildup because of facial hair, get that little thumb, thumb squeegee action going on. And get some of it down because you really don't want... Any soap. You want to avoid getting moisture near the pins at all at all costs. But again, when it get what, what happens when you start getting comfortable with this, you start getting a bit lazy, and you let things kind of slip, slide by.
Oh. Okay. Real squeegee thumb action. Okay, especially if you're newer, try not to talk while you're. And this is more for the YouTubers. If you're getting, if you're getting into straight razor shaving, try not to talk while you're shaving on your neck, man. One for one, it's the easiest place to get uh, irritation, and two, you don't really want to cut on your neck. It's just a little bit of unnerving, unsettling. And third and final pass. Dude, when I when I touch this brush to my face, it almost gives me that little jump because it's so damn cold. My menthol really has an effect on that brush feel. This is something I'm definitely going to take more advantage of once we get closer to the hot months. Like right now, it's really nice outside. It's windy, cool. Uh, this is going to probably help get me through those really hot-ass summer months. Which you guys have seen me kind of go through here. Menthol can be something that you have a negative reaction to. So if you do get the chill mill from Phoenix Shaving, oh, make sure you start with a little on the lower end of the dosage. So you don't have a bad reaction. If you're a more experienced shaver, you probably know how well you can handle menthol by now. But in case you are newer or you just haven't messed with menthol at all, make sure you, you know, dabble in it first. Before my third pass, I used to go do another with the grain pass. Now I get a closer result and again because of the nature of straight razors that I can't shave this way um, This helps you get a little bit closer because I do require to get BBS down here. I do require uh, uh, Across the green pass because of a little spiralness I got going on in here um, can't do it so Now I go with The another additional against the grain it helps get a little bit closer. Perfect. All right, so give me a moment. Let me rinse my face and we'll give our final thoughts on everything. So I've been telling you guys lately about some of the aftershaves that I'm going to pair some of this stuff with. With this one, I have no idea what I'm going to pair it with. I think I'm going to go with Phoenix Black Tea because I don't have a whole lot of fruit. Well, kind of that floralness. I don't have anything that's really floral that'll match this. I don't even, I can't even say it's floral. I don't know how to describe the damn scent. I don't know what I have to go with it. I think I'm going to go with Phoenix Black Tea. But all in all, great shave. Once again, Ariana and Evans Asian Pear. I went with the Declarations Brushworks. Uh, I want to say it's the Jefferson, but I don't remember the razor hand, the, the brush handles. Dove and Cena. Great edge, great edge, great edge. 
I can't praise uh, Roberto Sanchez enough for the edges that he put on my razors. And the wild card. Chill mill. So, since you're going to have to store it this way, get, the, get it like this. Shake it up a couple times and then do your turns. Remember, if you're new with menthol, you don't have much experience with menthol, don't put a whole bunch of it. A couple turns would be enough. And then dial it up if once you get a little bit more comfortable with things. One thing that I haven't been telling you guys that I've been using after every shave. Well, you guys already know that I've always used Thayer's Witch Hazel. Love the stuff. Um, that might be one of the few items I've ever actually finished in shaving. But now they got this now. The spray top. I really enjoy this stuff because I, I'm able to spray it on my face without a bunch of waste from actually pouring it into my hands. So I feel it's just more efficient way of using witch hazel. And just that bright freshness that I get from it. Again, not a bunch of wasted uh, product. You know, when you pour it in your hands, things have a tendency to kind of get everywhere. Uh, that's the situation. But now that they got these spray bottles great stuff so i would recommend the spray bottles um if you have some old thayers ones that are in the bottle get yourself a spray one once that one's done for top it off with uh, uh some of your portable ones that'll be my recommendation but again to each their own uh do what you want on that on that end damn good shave man the one benefit from this whole quarantine stuff is i've been really been able to get in these shave videos and just really get good shades, man. I really have all the time in the world for it, so why not? So it's been enjoyable. If you've made it to this point of the, of the video, just know, guys, that I really appreciate you. If you have any questions down below, uh, go ahead. You know where to leave them. And I'll catch you on the next shave.